we have people in their ignorance they believe that they know everything even to a point of just ruling out that hey king saul is in hell another person i've heard people saying that is in hell is king solomon so those two people according to the world and unbelievers king solomon and king saul are in hell now the reason why they speak of king solomon being in hell i don't know much but it's because of him having those numerous women and dying wicked but unto king saul they believe of course those that i have heard them speak they believe that this guy is in hell because he killed himself but now we seek to understand where this man went to after he committed suicide look down to verse 9 the bible says and the woman said unto him remember he has, he had gone to a woman of a divining spirit to inquire or to be called upon somewhere and so the bible says and the woman said unto him behold thou knowest what Saul has done so the woman is speaking unto Saul but he does not know, she does not know that this is Saul because remember Saul had changed his garments and had disguised himself and so the woman said unto Saul uh, uh, knowest thou knowest, knowest what Saul has done how he has cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life why do you want me to die because you are coming to seek for the services which the king has refused verse 10 and Saul swear to her by the Lord saying as the Lord liveth there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing then said the woman then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. So this was going to send a message unto this woman that if this guy is here to call for Samuel, then this guy must be King Saul. Because Prophet Samuel is the guy who was known all over the land for having anointed King Saul. And he was the way of communication between God unto King Saul. He was the one who was ministering unto King Saul. So verse 12 the Bible says, And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice and the woman spake to Saul saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what so is thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw God's ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, an old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And so, when Saul heard that, hey, this is the man Samuel, he bowed himself. And the Bible says, verses 15, keep note of verses 15, because what we are seeking to understand here is that when King Saul had committed suicide, where did he go to? Verses 15, the Bible says, And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me and bring me up? And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make me known. Make Thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy? Why are you looking for me? And you know very well God departed from you, and you became his enemy. And so the Bible says, verse 17, And the Lord has done to him as he spake by me, for the Lord has rend the kingdom out of thine hand and given it unto thy neighbor even to David so he is telling him you have been replaced you have been rejected you are, that kingdom is no longer yours you are the enemy of God look down to verse 18 because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord nor excusest his fears wrath upon Amalek therefore has the Lord done this thing unto thee this day that verse 19 moreover 
the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines into the hand of the Philistines and tomorrow thou shall thou and thy sons be with me the Lord also shall deliver thee host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines so what is the message unto Samuel uh, unto King Saul finally that tomorrow you shall be with me so the big question should be where was Samuel because he's telling King Saul tomorrow you shall be with me so who knows where Saul is is he in hell could we say that he was in hell no we couldn't say that because we you know comparing scripture with scripture you will definitely tell that uh, the man of God uh, um, uh, Samuel was where believers go when they die 